not a miracle worker. People think that stuff happens by itself, but it doesn't. That's what the department's for. But with these cutbacks, I'm having to work outside of my area of expertise. Single glove on a railing, for example, that's a job for a specialist. Terry, what, what are we doing here then? Well, what I'm about to attempt is called book on bus shelter roof. To the layman, it looks simple, but in fact, there's a whole besmirching and wearing out process. Right. And then you've got to vary the location so you don't end up with books on three shelters in a row. There should be a logistics team working it all out, but the cuts mean I have to plan it and do the in situ placement. I don't know who's behind these cutbacks, but I know I didn't vote for them. Yeah, I've uh, misspelt wanker. The general background ambience of a town or city, uh, metallic bangs, incoherent shouting, Oi! disembodied mechanical groans, that's called clanking. Making those noises is what I was trained to do. I am a clanker man. This is the main tool of the trade, a clanking paddle. As you can see, it's been specifically designed to offer a range of noise-making possibilities. And see, you've got to get the timing. You don't want it to be too regular. If it's regular, people can ignore it. It's not annoying enough. So you've got to get it really on the off, on the off, like that. But you can't just pick up a paddle and start clanking. It's nuanced. If you don't have a feel for it, they'll stick you in an office block somewhere, chipping tea mugs and blocking loos. It's no way to live. The shouts are really difficult to master. You start off with basic sounds. Oi! Ian! Then, slowly, you can start to combine them. Fucking hey! Nailed it. Mattress. Now I only spend a fraction of my time clanking. These austerity measures really bother me. You can't cut back on reality. People notice. This is called suspect stain application. This is real urine. It's not mine, though. What I really object to doing is what's known as creepy detritus, or it's also called uh, poetic abandonment. It's also called bollocks. Pretentious, gothic nonsense. I used to look down my nose at this stuff. Now I'm doing it. Yeah, just... Uh, Creepy placement, I guess. Uh, hang in. Lurking. Um, looks like it's breakdancing. Um, you know what? Cut that bit out, yeah? Obviously, we have to be extremely secretive about our work. 
Even other departments don't know that we exist. I get my instructions on a weekly basis. So when's next? Soon. Can we come with you? No. No, absolutely not. It's out of the question. We won't film it. I don't care. You can't. It's, I mean, well, no. You shouldn't have asked me that, yeah? I'm oh, sorry. Harry? 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 Go and film it. Nothing. Just, uh, uh, nothing, nothing at all. Doesn't sound like nothing, sounds like a racket. Yeah, that's right, a racket. <sighs> Fuck you, it! No, please! Can you stop doing that, mate? We've got another two hours. Well, then what happens? Well, then I'm doing the mattresses. Oh, well, busy night then. Flat out. <laughs> no, please, mate! What are you doing? Just. I can't talk about it. Try. I'm doing it for your benefit. I'm not feeling much benefit now, mate. Trust me. Just another... No one wants to hear that. It's not needed. Just another 20 minutes. Seriously, mate. You start up again, I'm going to wrap that crowbar around your fucking head. Sorry. I'm tired. Just keep it down, yeah? It's not a crowbar! Night screaming is one of the most important facets of clanking. It gives the darkness its air of mystery and it scares the shit out of children. I mean, people think that every little piece of rubbish or noise has a story behind it, a meaning, a reason. People don't understand how empty the world really is. Well, perhaps after this, they'll realize. Maybe then they'll appreciate everything I've done. Ah! Ah! Ah!